is sometimes it's different than we expected. And that's okay. It is what it is. I mean, the interesting thing about timing and all of that is that maybe I just needed to be performing an extra 10 to 15 minutes and it will change the whole course of my entire life. You know what I mean? You never know. God works in really mysterious ways. <clears throat> so we're starting the sound check again. And it will change the whole course of my entire life. Thank you so much for being patient and kind and understanding. I really don't have any complaints at all. I was thinking through my mind, I was like, well, what, what do I have to complain about? And it's like, well, no, nothing really at all. So thanks. I want to, I want to say, I appreciate your patience and, um, I don't know. It's a good story, I suppose. All right, let's get this shared again. Part two. <laughs> These boots are made for walking. All right, perfect. I know I had some friends over there on Twitter. I'm so sorry, John, that things cut off, but we will be back in a second. Oh, thanks so much for already being tuned in. That's so groovy. Okay, cool. Sound check on. I guess I should check YouTube real quick. The whole rigmarole. Do, 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 do. I know exactly where in the song we are picking up again. Hello, hello. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Okie dokie. This reminds me of one of my favorite concerts I uh, went to, which was, hey everyone, welcome back. One of my favorite concerts I went to had to stop in the middle of it for a short period of time because it started, it was Railroad Earth at Red Rocks Amphitheater right outside of Denver, Colorado. It was a harvest moon. It was October of 2016. There was a harvest moon. It was so big behind the Red Rock stage. And Railroad Earth goes into the song, and right when they say the word lightning, a big crack of lightning happens, like distance far away from the amphitheater, so it was okay. And then it started ra raining, and then it started hailing. And the band was like, okay, mid-song, they were like, we'll be right back. Exited the stage. Um, it was just a really gorgeous night. The moon was so gorgeous. Hailed for like a little bit, and then they came back on the stage, and it was just like so electric, so... You know, like I said earlier, some things just are to be as they are. Okay. <laughs> She's my night go, night go.
I flew too close to the sun. <laughs> I flew too close to the sun. That's okay. I will learn, I will learn how to be the fire. Okay, fantastic. Well, 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 what song do I even do now? It's like my whole so it's like a mix, a tornado of emotions. All right, well, we'll do this one. It's titled 
turn tail Jump back to when I didn't wait at all For your back to go I jump back To when I struck my gate to dawn But I'm sinking figured it out my friends I uh, mentioned a few minutes ago I just said oh my gosh I was flying too close to the sun which is the story of Copernicus that I want to say Copernic <laughs> Copernicus who flew too close close to the sun wasn't Pegasus wasn't Prometheus any who's all it's more of like a a, a fail-safe kind of something I retreat back to, not something that has to be. Every single time I get to the top of the mountain, heck, I can just sit up there and relax and look at the view. I don't have to immediately head back down the mountain. And so that's my perspective on, on this whole evening. Um, thanks y'all for being here. Got some more music for you. Um, yeah. So heartfelt, so, so heartfelt. Okay, I'm gonna do a couple new numbers that I haven't done in a while. One, I'm feeling like a little, um, I don't know, it's just, it's one of those songs where I really bear my soul, so maybe I'll do another one first. Okay, let's do this. Cool announcement. Um, so I um, I was rehearsing with a friend this weekend. His name is Trent Berry. He goes by Mr. Trent. He has a studio up in San Francisco that happens to be Studio B in in the Hyde Street Studios where Jer where the Grateful Dead has recorded, ha where Jefferson Airplane, my favorite, has recorded, where CCR has recorded. Tupac did his debut album there, Kanye West, many other great ones, Cake, so many great amazing bands and artists have recorded there, and he said, why don't you come record as well? So my next album will be cut at Hyde Street Studios, the name of his specific studio is Dream Rack Studios, so excited to share that information with you.
two. That song is titled Requiem for a Night Sky. It's on my most recent album. If you check it out, which I think you should, it has some very much yacht rock vibes and a whole different vibe than that way I just played it for you. I've actually kind of been toying around with different ways of presenting my music, um, you know, so I'll like kind of have it a mental picture before, go with a theme and then go into it knowing that it might come off in a different style. So that one was definitely introspective coffee house <laughs> get down on it gotta get down on it all right y'all i'm gonna do some extra extra songs tonight because of our technical difficulties that really just made the whole show even better entertainment value is soaring through the roof absolutely Soaring through the roof. The reviews are in, and the entertainment value is soaring through the roof. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, let's make this one Nirvana meets reggae. It's already written like that, but... What did I say, Nirvana meets reggae? Meets Let's Up. realized um, the way I play guitar and sing and perform is very much tied into the 10 years I played soft the 10 years I spent playing softball where I was the pitcher first base primarily pitcher though and I would leave everything on the field I would play my best game every single time sometimes it got scrappy 
Other times it was always precision, precision, precision. But I think that's sometimes the way I play guitar. It's just like, you know, I'm going to perform, that we're gonna win the game. <laughs> it might get a little scrappy, but it'll be a good game. Thanks so much for being here. And thank you to Celis Brewery out of Austin, Texas for hosting tonight's evening. If you're in Austin, hello. Check them out. I'm sure you can get a growler to go.
one more. <laughs> um, all right, y'all, thank you so, so much for being here. And thank you to Sellis Brewery for hosting tonight's show. I've got another song for you tonight. And then I'm off to rehearse for the next album that I'm so excited about. The next album is inspired by the 90s. Hip hop, R&B. Hello? Um, what else? Fiona Apple. Thank you so, so much for being here. I have music on all platforms, Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, Pandora. Find me there.
embarrassing. Um, it's so funny because like as I get in my head about those things, I'm like, I should make it themed with Thanksgiving just off the off my cuff, off the cuff. Anyways, I'm super grateful for y'all and I'm super grateful for music and this journey. And I hope you have a wonderful holiday if you celebrate. If you do not celebrate, I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow as well. That's okay too. Um, thank you so much y'all for being here. It's been an interesting year and we just keep rolling with the punches. We're gonna leave it all on the field and we're gonna get plenty of strikes in a good way. Like, like we're pitching, so uh, too, many, too many metaphors. Y'all, thank you for being here. Good game, oh my God. <laughs> We were down at the bottom of the fifth. <laughs> then we got that fly ball to center field and it brought us up for the next inning. Y'all, that's it for me tonight. I'm going to Cuckoosville. I'll be back on, when is my next live stream? I should have one. Let me grab my calendar while I have you here. Okay, today is the 25th. My next live stream is potentially on Sunday. We're waiting to confirm the date. Potentially Sunday. Okay, I'll set some up. I'll set some up soon, y'all. Follow me on social media. Check out my website, um, which is linked on my social media for those dates. Or just follow and you'll get a notification when I go live. Okay. <laughs> See you guys then. 